Hey everyone, Tasha here. Today I want to share my second message in the blog series, Meeting Others and Yourself Where You Are At. Today I want to talk to you about finding happiness right where you're at. This is something that has been huge in my journey. For the first couple of years after my accident, I constantly said to myself, I'll be happy when I'm walking again. I thought that I would walk again as I was sure that that was the only way that I could be happy. I was constantly finding ways through research and studies, through miracles, through getting in a standing chair, any way to get myself to be walking again. And it was really at my 10 year anniversary of my accident when I realized how much time I was wasting and how much I was missing out in life by feeling this way. Most of all, I realized that walking was probably never going to happen. And it was here where I determined that I was going to be happy right where I was at, that I was going to stop dreading things in my life that were always going to be there or wishing for something that was impossible. One example, my caregivers. I struggled a lot with having others doing so many things for me that I really disliked when my caregivers would be here. I began to realize this was now my life. So I should have fun with them and enjoy my time with them. And this helped me so much as I realized that my caregivers are here many hours a week, four to six hours a day. I was wasting so much time when I could really be having fun. I was finding happiness right where I was at. And I began to apply this to other areas of my life in which I was doing the same thing and started to see how much happier I was. Another big lesson in this was when I was in a relationship that ended about seven years ago and I was completely heartbroken and spent many days unhappy, feeling that I would not be happy until I was in another relationship or married. And it was here where I came across two quotes that changed the way that I looked at my situation and at my life. The first one, I love this one, it says life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. That's by Vivian Green. This other quote, happy people don't necessarily have everything. They just make the most of everything that they have. The first quote by Vivian Green, I had a caregiver write this on my mirror in my bathroom and I read it every morning when I woke up. I knew that I was in a storm but I didn't want to waste any more time wishing that I was in a different situation. And so it was here that I learned how to truly dance in the rain, figuratively, of course. I started listening to more upbeat music. I began saying things out loud like, the best is yet to come. Great things are coming my way. There are, things are only going up from here. I began to feel so much better when I began to say these things and started to see happiness in my life again. Also, I found the second quote on a stand. I'm going to show you this. It was actually this thing right here. It was on a stand sitting in my living room. And the funny thing is I had bought this at a market years prior and I had completely forgotten about this. One day I was sitting in my living room crying. It was a, it was a hard day when I saw this sitting by the lamp. And as I wheeled over to it, I looked at it and it, it was like the words leapt off this rock and went right into my heart. I knew this was my answer. It says, happy people don't necessarily have everything. They just make the most of everything they have. So I took this and I put it in my office right in front of my computer so that I would see it multiple times a day. And it was here that I realized and reminded myself the importance of my gratitude list. I had written this many years prior in my mind, and now I took the time to write it out in a Word document. I left this document open on my computer. I would read it right away in the morning, every morning, and then multiple times a day, especially at those times that I was struggling. And this, Gratitude list uplifted me and reminded me of all the reasons that I had to be happy. 
slowly but surely, I began to see that I was happy again. I wasn't dating anyone. I was still single and I was happy. Sometimes we magnify things thinking, I cannot be happy unless I have this. Well, today, let's try to be happy right where we are at. Trust me, I know the struggle and I do know the pain, but I also know that it can be overcome.